Yeah, not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The tackle by Brian. The numbers for him from a week ago. One yard. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Fighting through it. He's got space. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. You and I have talked about it before, but what about the year this guy's had on the ground? You come in as a rookie and in the discussion as MVP. And people have always told me, running back, one of the easiest positions to break in, but not to this level. If you're talking MVP, that means he's had a sensational season. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Pick up of six. Brings up second and four at the 50-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Tony Jefferson. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense, in this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Brings up second and three. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now they try the right side here. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Tackle made there by Tony Jefferson. But for Ron Rivera, the head coach of Washington, can't help but think about all the great years he had as the head coach of these Carolina Panthers. He was the head man from 2011 to 2019, and his best year, no doubt, 2015. That's when the Panthers went 15-1, and won, two playoff wins as well, before ultimately falling to Denver in Super Bowl 50. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. Well, the Dolphins have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. So from the 17, here's second and seven. And I give this time to the tailback. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. From 17 yards out. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Quite the drive there to get the... And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On play action, Haskins. He's going to go deep for Conley. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver. And it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Pass intended for number 33. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown. now Haskins on first down and he comes back with one complete and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down from the gun it's Haskins and his throw is going to be incomplete fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football but also not getting a lot of help out there either yeah you kind of you nailed it pretty well you know <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Haskins back to the air, finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First and Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. On first down, it's Haskins. And his throw is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. A pass complete here to Conley, and they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 33. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The throw taken in by Sims. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Ten-yard pickup brings up second down. After to throw again on second down. Haskins. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Again on second and 10, it's Haskins. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
think it's any state secret to know what they were saying. Haskins looking to throw on first down. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Yitor Gross Matos in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? But I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a gain of seven on the ground. Second down coming up. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Clay Matthews adding another sack to his impressive NFL resume. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Now Haskins, third and long. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. The six-time Pro Bowler, Clay Matthews. And that'll bring up four. On first and ten, it's Haskins. He's going to go deep for... Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and ten. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Washington. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw, Haskins going for it all. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. A great effort 
right there. 27 yards. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. A nice throw there by the second year quarterback. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pickup there, 21 yards. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a handoff here to his running back. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. And he'll give it here to his running back. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Now the